The Legend of the Cashewnut. Cashewnut is like a bell, yellow and ripe and sweet. Unlike other fruits, the seed of the cashewnut is outside the fruit. The seed of the cashewnut is delicious and nutritious. Although, according to some people's beliefs, roasted cashew seeds are dangerous to chicken. Once there was a merry making the forest. All the animals gathered in the forest, including birds and insects. All were happy. Everyone, big and small, joined the merry making. Nearby was a cashewnut. What is the cause of all the noise outside? Asked the seed inside the cashewnut. Oh, if I can only release myself from this dark chamber. The noise continued. The merrymaking continued too. And the seed inside the cashewnut continued to pray for its release from inside. At that very moment, a fairy was making her way to the forest. She was attracted by the noise and decided to join the fun. She paused for a while and heard a grieving voice. Who must that creature be? thought the fairy. Oh, powerful fairy, let me out, please, please, begged to sit inside the cashewnut. The fairy heard the begging voice of the seed. She took pity on the seed. With her tender fingers, the fairy gently touched the cashewnut. And lo, the seed was out in an instant. Oh, beautiful fairy, I want to live in this wonderful world outside. Never return me to the life of darkness I used to have. I plead. Your wish is granted, promised the fairy. How happy the seed was! She fisted her eyes all around her, but after a few hours, the merrymaking stopped and a great silence prevailed. The animals retired, the birds and the insects rested. In a short while, the cloudy sky was enveloped in darkness. The wind blew hard and rain fell heavily. Deafening thunder was accompanied by bold lightning. The seed grew afraid of what she saw and heard. Shivering in the wet and cold darkness, she called the fairy. Oh, merciful fairy, the seed begged. Hear me, put me back in my chamber. I don't like to stay here outside anymore. It's so dreadful outside, she cried. Her pitiful calls received no response for the fairy was nowhere in sight. She had vanished. Just then, the storm ceased. The fairy appeared once more and saw the poor seeds, bent and no longer able to talk. Then the fairy spoke. I will not return you to your chamber, said the fairy. I want to teach you a lesson. Be contented with what you have. Appreciate whatever God has given you. After saying these words, the fairy left for good. From that time on, the seed remained outside the cashew nuts.